talking about it afterwards. That's essentially what you need. Just no punches thrown. Hey, there's well, fights happening. Well, the action beginning in the first of our two preliminary bouts here on the Showtime pay-per-view countdown show. Brian Campbell and Ariel Hawani once again with you on the call. And Ariel, we are kicking off with one of the brightest prospects in the game just 20 years old, Vito Melnecki Jr. You see him in the blue and green trunks, and we're seeing him here right now in a 10-round super welterweight bout against Jose Sanchez Charles. The pride of Roseland, New Jersey. Very excited to see him fight live for the first time in person. Uh, I know Showtime very high on him. Al Heyman very high on him. Uh, got a very, very powerful hand, and... Uh, you know, you see the one over there, just 20 years old, suffered defeat, but has it been able to come back and, and look very promising? So this is this is good stuff. The defeat in questions, he called it maybe the best thing to happen to his young yeah. career in 2021 when Melnicki lost a majority decision over eight rounds to James Mar Martin. It was a big upset. But one thing Melnicki says about that, Ariel, is he talked to another former champion, Lamont Peterson, in the yes. aftermath in camp together, and he learned a lot about the idea of preparation and not taking fights lightly. And I've talked to Vito in the past. He said... I started reading my own headlines. <laughs> and then, oh, really? you know, when you turn pro at 18, when you're headlining on national television on Christmas night, yeah. when you're 19, you can understand the idea of maybe getting a little bit too ahead of yourself, but you love the early wisdom shown by the young fighter. Want to know how young Vito is? He was a high school senior when COVID hit. Wow. You know what I mean? <laughs> he turned pro while still in the 12th yes. grade. I believe uh, he's the youngest, or at least at the time, was the youngest pro fighter to be sanctioned in the state of New Jersey. He was 17 when he first got his license. And so, uh, obviously, he's been under a microscope for a very long time. Nice little guillotine there. Yeah, that's illegal in the, in the boxing <laughs> rounds. Referee Robert Hoyle all over it. Good jabs early from Vito, but a leaping left hand from Charles finds the mark. Shout out to the uh, late, great Leaping Lanny Poffo. Absolutely. The brother of the equally late and great, or maybe even more, when you're talking about history, the Macho Man Randy Savage. It was just Macho Man, not the Macho Man. Uh, well, it depends on what territory at the time, to be fair. With you. <laughs> if you really want to go back deep, I can go to Memphis with you. But first round action here in the 154-pound division, Melnecki Jr., blue trunks, the green... Waist. Can we do? Uh, are we doing open scoring for these undercard fights? I uh, do. I mean, we can provide our own. Yeah, scoring. I don't believe. I was can. told uh, that there's going to be open scoring. All right. Well, we'll hear Ariel Hawani's scorecard throughout this matchup. Just less than ten seconds to go in round one. Oh. Stiff jab from Melnecki, as he controls distance against the veteran. <laughs> Jose, closer to the start of the four-fight pay-per-view main card. But here's round two in the 154-pound division. Can I tell you a great story about that? I'd love to hear it. Last time I think Showtime did a pay-per-view broadcast in this building was Mayweather McGregor. Interesting stat. And you know who was the co-main? Gervonta Tank Davis. And I remember sitting up in the rafters, because of course I had the worst seat, um, <laughs> there was no one in attendance for his fight. They Did you keep a receipt for that? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Kelly Swanson, we still need to speak. Um, thing is, no one was even in attendance for his fight. They all showed up for the main event. How times have changed six years later. Exactly. Right hand from Jose Charles slipped in against Melnecki. As we continue here in round two, we mentioned Melnecki, the pride of Roseland, New Jersey, born in Belleville. But he went to high school over in North Caldwell at West Essex High School. And Ariel, if I'm going to read a notable alumni list from that high school, please. we're talking about Sopranos creator David Chase, comedian Joe Piscopo, former U.S. soccer coach Bob Bradley, and Showtime and Malka cameraman Jake Roseman. So, uh, you know, we are talking about... Von Amsterdam? Von Amsterdam You're himself, the morning combat donkumentarian. Wow. For those who follow I had no the idea. show. So notable alumni. Ariel, who's the most famous person to come from your high school? Um, would it be... Would it be a little egotistical if I said myself? Yeah, well, I want facts. Okay. Yes. I, I, just, <laughs> I mean, a uh, private Jewish school in Montreal, it wasn't exactly a who's who coming out of there. Have they built honest. a statue? Not yet. I'm a little bit offended by it, if I'm being honest. Another right hand finding the mark for the veteran, Jose Sanchez Charles, 29 years old, Reynosa, Mexico. He brings in a 24-fight veteran, calling himself El Matador. Vito's been around some studs throughout his young career. Shakur Stevenson's grandfather trained him, has trained with the likes of Gervonta Davis in, in Maryland. You mentioned Lamont Peterson. Sure. A lot of people are, are trying to help this young man out. And, uh, you know, he's trying to 
he's trying to show them that their time is uh is being used well in, in, in their in their you know experience with him. Even though he turned pro, as you mentioned, at 17, had a good amateur career, 147 and 22 record. And Melnecki was the most outstanding boxer at the 2011 Junior National Golden Gloves. But Jose Charles doing his best to stay in this fight in round two, getting the best of the power shots so far as Melnecki lands a counter jab to get out of trouble. Back to the right hand of the body is Melnecki, but Charles counters over the top. Oh, my dear. If you're wondering, Ariel, if the yeah. coffee I just spilt on myself is the first time this weekend that's happened. Um, what happened? You, was, you was, may not know me well enough. Was the cap loose or The cap what? has been broken the whole time. Ten seconds to go here in round two. What a pro. Just forge on, Brian. It's going to be okay. Well, if spilling drinks on yourself is cool, you can call me Miles Davis from the beginning there. Right next to us, but Errol, let's look back at the action here in round two. <laughs> as, there, as you touch my coffee stain, I don't think the viewers can see it here. I think they can see it just. <laughs> Pounds, the bright prospect, Vito Melnecki Jr. You see the one defeat on his ledger. That came in 2021, but six straight victories since that loss as he continues to Attempt to make that climb from prospect to contender. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you think he is worthy of all the hype, the buzz, all that I stuff? think he's still proving that. Okay. Uh, I'll say the one thing about Vito Malnecki that, that really gives me some confidence is he's got a very level head on his shoulders. We talked about yeah. how he responded to that first defeat. He shows maturity that's beyond his age. He's a solid workman-like boxer in there. He can be flashy at times, but I think the more he focuses on the little aspects, the fundamentals, and continues to raise his game, I think he's got the chance to be a very good fighter. Mm. But when you come in with a I mean, look, when you're a teenager yeah. and you're not and you're headlining on national television on Christmas, it does see, seem to change the uh the expectation level, if you will. I think he started training when he was around seven years old and uh would wake up at four thirty before school, train for a few hours with his dad, go to school and then train again for another two three hours and his mom used to feel bad that he wasn't going to parties that he wasn't playing sports with his friends but all he wanted to do was be a pro fighter and imagine him now at t-mobile undercard of you know arguably the fight of the year pretty incredible it does for sound like your man. story at syracuse just just putting i was in gonna work. say i was gonna say but i didn't want to make you know it's not about me okay let's be honest yeah and you had a wildly large haircut back then I'd i love did we had an afro if we can get photos of that up on this broadcast oh it's a tremendous and i kind of had the half like fight the power you know, fist thing going on. Yeah, that, I was that, very confused that lines at up. that age. Yeah. Uh, more than halfway through round three here, Malnecki controlling with the jab. But, Eric, let's give credit to Jose Sanchez Charles. Yes. Right hand over the top connects. He's looking to get inside Malnecki's jab, and he's been very aggressive in the early going. Aggressive like someone waiting in line at P.F. Chang's for a few hours waiting for his <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit that out after the foul. Oh, we're live. All right, here we go. Uh, yeah, I was trying to do it. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I'm sorry. Right hand from Melnecki and a left hook as he finished off a four-punch combination. You can see a little bit of redness bruising on the cheek of Melnecki from these right crosses of Charles. Charles also bleeding a bit from the nose as both fighters continue to sit down on their power shots in the center of the ring. You know, it's really interesting. I was kind of joking about the crowd, but his family is sitting right over there, so you can see their reactions very clearly to everything. And uh, a little bit of concern for a minute there for their, their young Vito. Well, Charles is a veteran. That's why he's in here at this point against Milnecki. And, you know, Vito Jr. told... Oh, down goes Charles. And it looks like referee Robert Hoyle is going to rule that a knockdown. Do you agree? Have to check on the replay at this moment, but Charles looks to have his legs under him. Ten seconds to go here in round three. Ooh. Big left hook from Melnecki. And Charles is down a second time. Hoyle delivering the count. Two knockdowns in the final 20 seconds here for Vito Melnecki Jr. We'll check the replay if we can get it on that first knockdown. I actually feel like the first. Let's look back on this. A 10-7 round, most likely for Melnecki. A little right hand to the side. Legit. O almost the back of the head, right borderline, but enough to produce a very legitimate knockdown. And there's the second one. Right hand caught him. The late reaction. And Impressive. down goes Jose. Round bout in the 154-pound division. A very stiff jab from Vito Jr. to kick off. Oh. See Charles motioning to the referee. Punch was borderline there on that looping right hand to the side of the head. 
Charles may want to focus on uh, on blocking that punch before yeah. complaining at this point. No, Vito looks great. Oh, oh <laughs> big right hand from Melnecki. Down goes Charles. And it looks like that'll do it. Hoyle not administering a count. It's a fourth round knockout. No count necessary. Vito Melnecki Jr., just 20 years old, but Ariel Roseland, New Jersey, stand up, right? I was just asking you earlier, is he worthy of the praise? Is he worthy of the buzz? I think he is worthy of the praise and buzz. Biggest stage of his young career so far. Toughest opponent of his young career so far. And look what he just did to him. Charles landed some big right hands in the first two rounds to get Melnecki's attention. At the finish here in round four, Ariel, right hands came about the same time, but Melnecki's got there first. Look a little bit like uh, Aldo McGregor on the MMA side on that mm, one? Uh, I wouldn't say so. Okay. No, I don't think. But, uh, you know, nice try. And he knew it was over, right? A walk-off. Did the job, and let's hear from Miguel Flores. years old. Uh, Vito knows how to finish the job in front of him. A very impressive victory. And Ariel, that's his second of this calendar year. Melnecki was on the undercard of Gervonta Tank Davis's January pay-per-view victory over unbeaten Hector Luis 